Hello everybody and this is, I'm gonna start a new playthrough of Resident Evil 1. Yeah. Capcom. So yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time. I mean in really long, I mean like two years maybe, something like that. It's been really long though. So it might not remember every single thing. And by the way, I'm not gonna use safe states. So I'm gonna play. New game. This is the director's cut version. And since I'm not gonna be uh, using safe states, I'm not gonna be using. Er I'm not gonna be playing on a range mode, because that is just really, really hard. I tried it before without safe states, and I just got my ass kicked. So, original. Resident Evil. I love this game. I'm gonna play as Jill. I might do Resident. I mean, Chris is ver Chris as this one again once after Jill's scenario, but well, I'll say about that uh, once I'm done with Jill. Might. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna we're just gonna watch the beginning here, the intro, which has is really funny. And really bad acting, but I still love this game. City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You haven't found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris. Look, Chris. This is the EPSXE version. It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. Look at Barry, I love like Barry's like, what could have happened? However, we soon discovered why. Evil in the darkness, but they are not aware. <laughs> this guy, I love this bit, um, watch. I love that. He's like, ah! <laughs> and I mean, that has to be the worst reaction to someone's death ever. And it, they're just in the dust. He's like, Joseph, and she doesn't even do like a reaction to anything. She's like, Joseph, that's all. Oh my god! <laughs> no, don't go. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I just love this intro. It's so funny. <laughs> Why are they even running like that? It's like Jill, she's holding a gun. Why is she running like that? Why don't they run normally? <laughs> oh god. Joseph! <laughs> oh, cast. Chris Ritz. Hopefully you can hear the game. Dun dun. Jill Valentine. Rebecca Chambers. Oh my god. And I know this game is like a sur they have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet it wasn't. Or was it? I don't know. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Yeah. Captain 
Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door. <laughs> what Chris is. Don't open that door. What is it? Maybe it's What Chris. do you mean, what is it? Maybe it's now, Jill, Chris. Can you go? I'm going with you. Yeah, he's immediately Chris is like. Our old partner, you know. <laughs> Okay. Chris is our old partner, you know. Handle, this. handle what? There's something to handle. Stay alert. Yeah. And I know this game is like a really great survival horror game, but with that intro, it doesn't look like they were even going for a survival horror game. Well, to me, anyway, it looks like they were going for some comedy, comedy horror game. With that intro, it's like Wesker's like with his hair. A dining. A dining room. Oh, really? Do you think so? I think it's a dining room too. This game is awesome. What? What? What is this? What do you mean? What? What is it? <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? Jill, see if you can find any other clues. What do you mean? What is it? It's like <laughs> it's blood. This is not Chris's blood. Yeah, I hope that too. Oh, good. Barry's investigating. Yeah, I'm standing in the blood. Now, there's a special little scene you can get here. If you do the... I don't know if I remember it correctly, but... You should... You go back to Wesker, I think. <coughs> and this is only with Jill's scenario, of course. Because Barry's only with you in Jill's scenario. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. We already heard gunfire. In fact, that's why you sent us there to investigate. Yeah, you should first you go there, I think. Maybe you know about this, maybe you don't, I don't know. Then try to talk. What the? Oh. No, not yet. Mary's investigating. I don't remember correctly, I think. Lost oh. courage already? It's not like you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Then... Yeah, there we Who go. Who is it? Yeah, see? And that happens. He... The zombie... Hey, you... He's insane. He's insane. Yeah, she and she doesn't even run. She's like walking slowly backwards, like. And what? I don't think that's what an insane person would do. Let's report this to Wesker. I mean, if someone was insane, I don't think it would be walking like that. Yeah, so that's what you get. This is the zombie you see if you go. If you go through this door here. You get the scene where the zombie's eating Kenneth, which obviously, which is obviously cooler. It's like it's in all that CGI stuff, like cool graphic stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Just so you the only way out it. Jill, run! He's insane. Wesker! Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. Okay. And don't leave this hall for the time being. I do whatever I want. Don't follow me. I would play this on a range. Oh look, I have my pistol right. On a range mode, but if I, uh, but I don't want to use quick saves. And I've tried a range before, my in range mode before with Chris. And even though he's tougher, I kept getting gun caution with one hit on a range mode without and without save states. You know, it's kind of hard. I haven't played Jill scenario in a long time. Because I usually always start with Chris's. But I want to start with Jill. They both have awesome scenarios, of course, but still. They're not very different, but. Find anything, Jill? Brr. Nothing. I don't remember everything about this game, by the way. I can't figure it out at all. 
What do you mean you can't figure it out? It's me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. It's already. I don't know what's going on. It's already time. He, it's, he already disappeared. It was his time a bit earlier. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. Oh no, we won't. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? Okay. And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, <laughs> take it with you. <laughs> if you, the master of unlocking. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. I like he's just like that you the master of unlocking <clears throat> listen if something happens let's meet up in this hall what if the, what if the thing that happens kills me or could or gets this me wounded I'll be there. yeah you'll be in the dining room eating probably damn Barry that's why he wants to go in the bloody dining room to eat increment which we will need since I'm not using safe states again I say just to, so, because I want to make that clear you know I was trying to run this one on PSX but I uh, couldn't work and yeah you get this scene if you try to go outside yeah we're not going that way going the other way on a range mode, the, uh, the barrel looks, the pistol looks a bit different, the Beretta, and it can, it has one on five or six, I think, chance of getting a headshot, which is useful, but uh, the zombies are a lot harder. What the hell? Yeah, this time I'll be there. He didn't. He's not here. Liar. This time. He, he didn't keep his promise. He said, this time I'll be there. He wasn't. Lying bastard. I never trusted you, Barry. Yeah, and see, so you don't get the scene now. Wait a second. Kenneth doesn't have his and legs as well cut off. Or he shouldn't, anyway. Or maybe not initiating that cutscene gives him time. Gives the zombie time to eat him. He's Kenny from Star's Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Yeah, we don't care about that. Come on. Can I... Doesn't he usually have ammo on him? Or is my controller just not working well? Because I'm using a control pad on this. Or maybe you don't get him. Maybe you don't get the ammo if you do that. I don't remember. There's supposed to be clips on this guy, man. It sucks. Anyway. So, yeah. I love this game. I love Resident Evil 1 and 3. I mean, but... Resident even Resident Evil 4 and 5, but 4 and 5 are just way too different. I mean, 4, it did not, it changed a bit, but at least it kept its survival horror a bit. Resident Evil 5 is barely even a Resident Evil game to me. I mean, it's mostly action. Well, actually, it's all action. You don't even get any scares in that game. I mean, you don't get anything. You're just always action, shooting and shooting and shooting. You know, and it doesn't feel like Resident Evil at all. Just get the map while we can. Oh, can't I? I can't move on that. Okay. You got the map of the first floor. Okay, that looked a bit awkward. Her le her right foot couldn't when it wasn't standing on anything. Zombie. So just skip him. Increments. See, if you're using safe safe states, you don't really need to come in here because that's all there is. But I am not so. Just 
Yeah, yeah, he he'll just stay down unless you run into him. Over, of course, he will bite your leg. So let's go in here. Let's go back to the hall. Egg ribbons. Wow. Yeah, because I, I really wish they go back to the normal Resident Evil games. I mean, obviously not with these kind of graphics, better graphics and stuff. But, like, I really wish they go back to the original Resident Evils, because that was... Because this is what I liked and loved about the Resident Evil games. The zombies and stuff. You know, not just all those... Just action and stuff. Con constant shooting. I mean, Resident Evil 5, you don't even have to worry about ammo and stuff, you know? I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. Yeah, I sure you sure do, don't you, Jill? Oh my God, the door! Ah, yeah, yeah. What the Jill. hell, Barry's here? <laughs> don't scare me. I forgot who That's came. What he's I was here. Going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah. Well, so are you, Jill. You're right. But just take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, stupid phone. Not now. Oh, I'm not gonna answer that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> just take it's a look awful. at this. <laughs> Oh god. I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Mm, it does it look like it? Can you look around the first floor, Jill? You're supposed to be doing that. Shut up. Okay. No, don't, don't listen to him, Jill. Hey, Jill. This must have been Forrest's. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. I have a pistol right in my hand and a knife. I'm set. I don't need the grenade launcher. You got the bazooka. Oh yeah, it's called a bazooka in this game. Just take a... Are you, aren't you supposed to be going through the first floor, Barry? Hmm. Yeah, but... Take a look at this! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't help it. I, I miss this game. It has been so long since I've played it. I really missed it. It looks like... I, I kind of find it like... he's He knows it's been... That crows killed him. I mean, how, well, come on. How the hell do you know that? Well, like, maybe you realize it's a bird, but come on, you can't... He actually knows it's a, a crow. If he said like, it looks like he wasn't killed by a bird or something. It's okay, but a, you really know he knows it's a crow. So now yeah, let's take our knife. What the? Oh, I cut your arm off. How do you feel now, huh? Feel pretty stupid, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, that no, was close. I don't even have any ammo yet. Uh, he's dead? Oh, he's not dead yet! Oh, how the hell is he not dead yet? <clears throat> if he's not dead yet, come on. I don't think he's even dead. Okay, he is dead. Okay, so take out the knife again. How do I know? Don't I have any ammo yet? Because I didn't find. Because I didn't find any ammo on Kenneth. That's why. Kenneth. Hi. -ya. Hi. Okay, he's dead. Right. Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Okay then. 
Push the. What the hell? Ah! Oh. Bloody screensaver. I couldn't see the screen for a second. I thought my computer crashed. But no, it's just the screensaver. No, oh, the screensaver. Well, open the door, Jill. God, you're so slow. Any zombies? But oh, these are easy. Oh, okay, that wasn't the. That wasn't very nice of you, zombie. Because these guys only try to puke on you, and so it's not really that hard to dodge puke. Because they take quite long. It's like they first like move back a bit. It's like. <laughs> Boomer! Shut up. Zombie! Ah, no, no! Get in the What the f- Why didn't she get in? Oh, that's bullshit. She didn't get in the door. You little bitch. Oh, God. why is she that slow? I don't remember her. I don't remember the game open. The door seek. The door sequences being that long. Alright, oh, I have two clips right there. Everything's being slow, apparently. No oh, wait. I don't need the bazooka now, that's for sure. I need to change some settings once I'm done with this part. Yeah, we'll keep that, cause, since Jill has some space. You're okay, then. We finally have some ammo. To call ours. We are more increments. Six increments already. Increments. Wire. Stein. It's a typewriter. You can use this to save your progress. Will you use the increment? Hmm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh, I have some saves in here. Um. Whatever. See, that's my arrange playthrough there, Chris. It's really hard, uh, hard. More like a hard p. Oh, shut up! Okay, then. Let's go to the next room. So I'm only gonna do a little bit more now, cause I, well, I still I have to do some stuff. I know, I know, I should have done it before, but now I'm I'm lazy like that, and plus I prefer recording rather than doing that other stuff go dodge the zombie and how how come how, i don't even have the armor key yet it's locked a carving of an armor where do i get the armor key i don't remember i don't remember see i don't remember i thought you were supposed to get it on that bed ah uh, you have used the lock pick ah uh, my back because uh, I like the save room I just went in. Isn't there supposed to be uh, the armor key there? Or is it supposed to be somewhere else? Yay! Clip. Will you take the clip? Hell yes, I will. And seriously, this is annoying now. The menu and stuff is going really slow. Can I get it from here? Uh, uh, no. Nope, I'm afraid they don't let you do that shit. Oh my god. I remembered about you. Man. Yes. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I remember that. And how, man, she keeps blowing off their arms in one shot every time. With this pist, with this Beretta, not pistol. Well, it is a pistol, I think. I think. Yeah, it is a pistol. What the heck? What? Yeah, of course, it's a pistol. Just call the Beretta. Keeper's diary. Now I will read these, cause uh, I don't remember the ones in uh, the notes in this game being that long. So, May, May 9th, 1998. <clears throat> At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, Alias, and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. How do you know he was cheating? Maybe you're just a sore loser who can't take a stupid lose, who can't take, who can't lose, or he'll also get pissed at every day at life and want to kill himself. Shut up. Just read, just, just read the damn thing. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looked, it looks like a gorilla without any skin. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. No, shut up. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. 
tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. So you got a problem with that? Maybe it doesn't like the kid, the pig's guts. Maybe it just wants the skin around it and stuff, huh? Hmm? That's, that would be cool to watch when you see a gorilla just tearing off his legs like, Oh my god, what are these things on it? The, are these hooves? I don't like those. Tear the legs off. Oh my god, are those guts? Let's tear those off and eat them and too. Ugh. That would be so awesome. Oh, that would be so awesome! Come now. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put on one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder these researchers, those researchers, never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin was washed and I feel very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed dogs those dogs today. Oh, what day did you? It's not their fault. You have to wear your spacesuit, dumbass. You dipshit. You. F <laughs> Shut up. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I didn't don't bleh, did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. Yay me! I don't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very, very, and I mean very, shut up, unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll, I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Oh, you're in some big trouble now. May 15, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It was my, f It's my first day off in a long time. But I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered and no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call! What kind of joke is this? May 16, 1998. I heard, I heard, only heard, I didn't see, but I heard. Shut up! Again. A re Stop saying yourself to shut up! I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. Oh my god, what is happening? My, ent my entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me, man? Oh my god! You look, I look terrible! May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy! <laughs> Hungry anti doggy food! Itchy, itchy, skulker! Okay. Mugly voice, I killed him! Tasty! Nom nom nom! Boy, itchy, tasty! Yeah. So yeah. He went insane. And became a zombie. When he didn't go insane, he, went, he became a zombie. And it's probably him. I don't know why he was hiding in the closet, maybe he's like, No, I can't eat people. I gotta hide in the closet before I become a zombie. You sicken me, bastard. So yeah, I don't know how the hell he did that, because like, because he's a zombie, how did he write? Maybe he wasn't dead yet, dumbass, maybe he was still alive, but on the base of becoming a zombie, he probably was. Oh, and yeah, stupid door action sequences are door sequences are so slow. Go, go! I'm just gonna make it to the other save room now. Actually, you know I'm gonna do some other stuff first because I didn't do enough progress. I think. I mean, to 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 use another save, another increment that is. Okay. Then. Oh my god! Oh, oh, stupid, bloody, stupid me! Oh my god! I'm on caution. Dang! Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. You probably are laughing right now because that was bullshit. No, you're not laughing, probably. I don't know what you're doing. Do what the hell you want! No offense. Anyway. Do whatever the hell you want! Oh. Suckers. I can't believe I ran into that guy because the. Because it's slow, that's why I'm. That's happening because it's running very slow. Can't you see? This? Look at those sequences. It was so damn long. I'm first I'm gonna go to the dining room and get myself the gem, which I can sell to the merchant. No, that's in Resident Evil 4. Okay, dude. Okay, calm down. Why well, I won't? I won't sell it. I'll give it to Leon for him to sell it and then pay me. 
No! Okay. I won't do anything. I will keep it. <laughs> I wanna shell it. No. Okay. Anyway. That was awkward. That was an awkward moment. Oh, open the door, Jill. You're making me sick! <clears throat> sick. You sick of me, you ugly bitch. No, you don't. No, you don't at all. Oh, look at the gem mark! It's a, it's a, it's a blue gem. Yay! We got a blue gem. Ha 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 ha. And we also got an emblem. And I think since I, well, since I'm kind of close, I'll go put the gem in its place. Yay! Puzzle solving. Puzzle solving. Puzzle solving. Yeah, come on. No. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Face the wall. Cause you a zombie. You don't know how to walk. You like a damn baby. You stupid. You like a baby. That's all. I seriously don't remember this game, dude, because I can't even find the mention key. That's some serious bullshit. I mean, come on, the armor key. It's so popular. No, it's not. Well, it might be. Oh, look, it's the moon. I mean, wind crest. That's a wind, you dumbass. That's a wind. Don't slap yourself. Will you take the wind crest? Yes! Stop talking like that, dude. You're not impressing anybody. Oh, so slow. Why do I gotta deal with this bullshit? You know why? You know why I gotta deal with this bullshit? Because I have a bullshit computer at times, you know? Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes it pisses me off. Oh, I dodged you. So you, and you can't do nothing about it. Because you're too damn slow. And that's why I love you. I love you, zombies, and I miss you. I wish that... Capcom would bring you guys back, but I'm afraid it's too late now because it wouldn't make make sense of the storyline I don't think it would anyway Because now there's all those damn Magini and Ganados and Wesker's dead Why? Why Wesker? Why? You guys how you never die man? Why? Why did you die Wesker? Why? It's not his fault. Chris Redfield killed him. Chris Redfield is better and less evil. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Can you excuse me? No, please excuse me. No, you don't deserve the excusement. But I want an excusement. But you're not gonna get one, I'm afraid. Okay then. Turn at the wall. Come on, face the wall. Good boy. Why do they even do that? I mean, why do they face the wall? Oh, well, that was confusing. Confusing cameras. Go, 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 go! Run right past that son of a bitch. Why did he say that to him? He's a poor guy. What does his mum have to do with this? Well, I don't know. I just said it. Oh yeah? You just defend people just because you want to? Yes I do! And poor, and by the way, that's not a pu that's not a human, that's a zombie. It's a dead man. I'm not gonna read this, this is just about the herbs you get in the game, and I'm sure you know about these, so I'm not gonna read them I'm afraid. So, well go find somebody else's playthrough if you do, so I'm sorry. You unlocked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and want more videos. And all that good stuff. Ah! Ah! Go through. I mean, go down, not through. Those you gonna don't go through stairs, you dumbass. It was just a mistake, man. I don't care. I'm afraid. Oh, I don't just care. I just don't care. I'm gonna kill you. Cause you need my safe room. Hmm. 
Mm, yeah, you've taken those bullets. Oh, you make me waste a bullet. And you were even dead. And by the way, a range mode also has different camera angles. Just so you know. Just so you know. You know? And I, I'm not gonna use safe states no matter what. I mean, seriously, I'm not gonna use safe states. Even if I keep dying at the same bit. By hunters or something like that. And like hunters, I'm, I prefer them much better in this game because they're in this version, not the remake. Because in the remake, they're. I personally don't find them that hard. That hard. They don't kill you as often. They're not as hard as the one. First of all, they take a lot more, a lot less damage than before. I mean, like they take a lot more damage, but I mean they can't take a beating. I mean, like four shots from the auto shotty, from the auto shotgun can immediately kill them. And the thing that, cause and they also get slowed down cause they give, they are given those roars. It's like, and then they attack. First they like roar and then they attack, and that kind of slows them down, you know. Cause while they're doing that, you can put some distance. So yeah, I'm gonna um, save it here. Then I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it on that. I'm just gonna jump out the window. No, no, you're just gonna end this party, dumbass. Oh, am I? Oh, all right, all right. Yes, you are. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna end my life. I'm gonna end this play and this part. Yeah, you type those words, Jill. We're on 2F, no, we're 1F. You're good. Anyway. So, this was Liu Kang1378. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Now! Thank you.